If you see anything that seems salvageable for the nest, just scream, okay? This one should open. This place is totally empty. Maybe beneath the furniture? So, did you find anything? Uh, a slate, a broken stencil, candy wrappers, and a capless marker? You? No better. A snack bag, plastic figurines, round tip scissors, and two capless markers. I'm wondering which planet is hiding all the marker caps. Let me see those figurines. <gasps> this is muffin and cupcake! Do you watch that stuff? Hmm. A children's cartoon about a baker's apprentice with magical powers? Okay, first of all, they're not bakers, they're pastry chefs. And also, Muffin and Cupcake is a cartoon about friendship, above all. And it approaches its subject matter with great maturity and sincerity, which can be appreciated at any age. So, are you Team Muffin or Team Cupcake? <laughs> That's a stupid question. I don't need to identify with any particular character in order to appreciate a good series. All right, Cupcake. Cupcake all the way. I hope we don't do all this for nothing. No way! We move in, and the rust Kerbal? What happened to her? That's not Burbal. Huh? How do you know? She looks nothing like her. Obviously, right now she's covered with rust. Even still, you can tell their faces look completely different. Huh. Don't you see? Now that you mention it, Burble does look a bit taller than her. Oh, no. They're the same height. But Burble's head is more... Whereas this one's wings are less... You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, whether or not that's Burble, we can't leave her hanging like this. We agree. Thunderous applause! Seed! Now we're six to three! You starting to feel the heat? Uh. Don't be scared. We just want to clean off this rust. <laughs> We're that good. See? That wasn't verbal. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, lady. You can go now. Why is she staying here? Maybe she wants to take us for a ride. Like, that's her way of saying thank you. We've hit the jackpot. So... Where are you taking us? Nowhere, it seems. Maybe she's waiting for our go. Or some kind of instructions? In that case? To the nest! I don't think she brought us back to the nest. How is she supposed to know where the nest is located? True. Why do you think she brought us here? Maybe... Because she needs our help? But we just helped her out. There are times when you have more than one problem. Hmm. Anyway, now that we're here, shall we take a look around? Yes, ma'am.
we just do the whole island? I'll follow your lead. Look at that. Beautiful nature at work. Even covered in rust, the mom is still keeping an eye on her little ones. I don't think those are her little ones. Whose little ones do you think they are, then? Judging by their size, I'd say our flying friends. That's ludicrous. Why would she keep an eye on someone else's eggs? They're not even the same species. Kay, don't you see the empty shell? <sighs> He ate the baby. He ate our friend's baby. I've been trying to tell you. Oh, no, no, no. That's not gonna happen. Who's next? Yeah, that's it. Get out of here. Hope I don't see your face ever again. I'm surprised, Kay. I thought you would start lecturing about the different paths of survival. Chalk it up to the laws of nature. Each one has its place, yada yada yada. Yes, everyone has its place. Except the baby eaters. Huh. Well, our friend looks grateful. I'm sure that's the reason she brought us here. All right, then I guess she can bring us back now. Can't we stick around a bit longer? In these swamps? It's a nice change of pace. <sighs> okay, okay. Now that's an extractor. Exanova settled all the way out here? They've traveled billions of lumsecs to come to source. They're not gonna back down because they saw a sticky swamp. Signature move, perfect execution, 10 out of 10. So, what is it? Lufacrids. I didn't think I would ever see one again. Why? Are they rare? More than rare. No one has ever been able to grow them in the apiary. I had a chance to study them once. Our lab almost went bankrupt trying to procure some. Huh. And what's so special about them? Everything. No one seems to understand how these plants work. They don't require nutrients, apparently nothing that allows for photosynthesis. Actually, to be exact, I shouldn't even be calling it a plant. What should we call it? Considering that we've never found anything even remotely similar, Lufacrids. Okay. Can you eat it? <sighs> Somehow I don't believe that was a priority question for biologists. What? Biologists don't eat? <sighs> yes, you can eat it. But it's not very good. It's acrid. Oh. I guess I could have figured that out. On the other hand, it has outstanding medicinal qualities. We were able to observe some amphibians feeding on it in order to regrow their lost limbs. What? That is awesome! <laughs> I doubt it would work for us, but it probably wouldn't hurt us.
Come on, lady. Time to bring us home. Another one. We're gonna get stuffed. I hope that's gonna be enough. Lucky for us, 50%. We're not gonna get very far with... Where do you want to go once you fix up the nest? Huh? Why would I want to go anywhere? Don't you like it here? Oh, I wasn't talking about leaving Source. But once the nest is operational, we'll be able to use it to discover new areas. Sightseeing Source. <laughs> we won't even need to sleep outside. But I like to sleep outside. You're just saying that because the weather's still nice. But what will happen if it gets cold? Then we'll keep each other warm. I know a way. Hmm. We should probably test out your way to make sure that it works. We don't want to be caught by surprise. Hmm. <laughs> Good thinking. So you need to take off your clothes first. Hmm. Seems a bit counterintuitive. Oh, sure. But you'll see. It comes naturally after a while. Should we go out and explore? I would love that. Smells pretty musty in here. We're probably the first people to enter this place in years. Do you think this was someone's house? Certainly looks like it. This was probably the bedroom. This was the kitchen. Except someone cleared it all out. Not all. Look! 
Okay, all of it except the teapot. They must have forgotten about that. Their loss, our win. What? Are you thinking about keeping it? Why not? It'll be more useful in the nest. What are you going to use it for? I was thinking... tea? <laughs> yeah, all right. This one is nice and ripe. Whoop, whoop! Funny smell. I can't smell a thing. Look at that huge rock. We make a good team. Headway. This looks a whole lot cleaner. Are we saving those for later? Of course! This one's a little rotten, isn't it? You're a little rotten. Huh? Sorry, it was a reflex. for cooking. Do you think we'll have enough? We never have enough. Whoops! Flow burst! Flow burst! All good. What about now? Can't you smell that? Uh, smells a bit swampy, I guess. Pretty normal. I'm not saying it's not normal. I'm just saying it stinks. Every little bit helps.
This one smells weird. Chuck it then. Are you insane? Now! A job well done. Picking up. Let's share those. Two are stuck. Are you sure this one is ripe? It passes. It does stink a little. Huh. I guess we are above a pocket of decomposing organic matter. I I'm not sure I wanted to know that. Hit him with a flow burst. Whoa! May I have a steel plate as a knife? I'm wondering. Maybe if I rigged the wing root a bit, added a safety slot here, shaved down the trailing edge. Yep, this should make a completely viable semi airfoil. Awesome. Sibi airfoil are a kind of curtain, aren't they? Ugh. Wings. They're wings. For flying. Ah. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Are we really gonna lug that around? It looks heavy. We could just take it straight to the nest. With the two of us, it should be okay. Perfect. We just need a little rust to hold it all together now. Great oaks from little acorns grow. Are you okay? Laying back? As much as I can. I can see that. I was thinking, any idea why I'm always in charge of hanging the laundry out to dry? Because I'm doing all the washing? Big deal. You just need to stick it in the machine. Where do you see a washing machine? Okay. Good point. I'll finish hanging the laundry. That's funny. At first I found the shrooms disgusting, 
But now I actually think he carries them well. All right, this works. Awesome. Could you build a gyro stabilizer for the nest? Uh, I can only make kind of simple things like flow capsules. Hold on, let me show you. Just take a bit of rust and... And here it is, a brand new capsule. Just need to activate it during combat in order to use it. Oh, so no gyro stabilizer then? Uh, uh sorry. No, no need to be sorry. No worries. This is good. I mean, this is great. Really great. Uh, if you could just explain to me what the flow capsules do when you get a chance. Cause I missed that part. The apple brew should be ready by now. There's an uprising in the apiary. The factories on down are at a standstill. Beauty is complete havoc. The revolutionary forces have stood heavy losses, but everything could still change. The remaining able-bodied survivors have taken up arms and gather on top to launch the last offensive. Your many years working in a revolutionary cell have turned you into a natural leader. The crowd behind you is awaiting instructions. I redirect to the matchmaker. Some of the revolutionaries in your group have taken issue with your decision. They were in favor of unseating the council, but they still believe the matchmaker is the only defense against the mark. Borons. They are wanting to split up. They head for the council. I forbid them. We need to present a united front if we intend to achieve anything. They hesitate for a moment, but they don't want to risk an internal conflict. So they choose to follow you, but cautiously. The revolutionary mass is very menacing, but internal tensions are still palpable. You finally arrive in front of the matchmaker's server room. But as you start ramming into the doors, they open on their own, unleashing an army of hornet drones who are hiding inside. Bloot! The hornets charge. They neutralize your first line within a few seconds. Some of them are moving swiftly towards your flanks. They're trying to surround you. We press on! Press on! You shout your order, but your voice is drowned out by other shouts. Other self-proclaimed leaders seem to want to take the lead. Integrating the seceded group seems to have heightened the divisions. No one is paying attention to you any longer, nor are they paying attention to anyone else. The Hornets take advantage of the chaos to zoom through your ranks, neutralizing anyone within reach. You feel the end coming. The revolution has been stifled! Suddenly, right under your feet, a trap door opens. You see Kay signaling for you to come down. I follow her. You go down the ladder. The underground tunnels lead you to a secret spatio porch where the nest is awaiting you, ready to take off in case things take a turn. And take a turn they do. Kay takes her hand to lead you in. I press her body against mine. After being routed by the hornets, the warmth of her body feels very comforting. Kay lays her hands below your hips and presses her lips against yours. I take her shirt off. She allows you, then helps take yours off. Your breasts are pressed against her burning body. Kay puts her hand behind your neck and a shiver goes through your body. You can no longer hear the commotion outside. Your spirit is captured by the taste of her saliva, the smell of her sweat. I unzip her shorts. You're scrambling a bit. Oh, and the zipper gets stuck until it whispers away. And then you slip your hand into Kay's underwear. Okay, stop. Stop talking. Show me.
What is it? Are you almost done? Define almost? That is not funny. You're using up all the hot water. I'm washing my hair? My hair is a thousand times longer than yours, and I don't spend half the time you do washing it. Wait, how long have I been in here? You don't know? I might have fallen asleep for a few minutes. In the shower? What the? Oh, come on! What is this? There's water everywhere. Hey, why are you splashing me? Hey, stop that! That is not funny. You're splashing everywhere. It's already everywhere anyway. Oh, stop! Okay, I'm coming in. I'll make you pay. I'll wait. Okay. Do you mind if we switch sides? Hmm. Why? I don't know. I just feel like a change. Is this a trick? Uh, okay, yes. My side is all wet because of you and it feels cold. Because of me? Do I need to remind you how the scene unfolded? No one cares who started it. What matters is who finished. You did. On my side of the bed. So we're switching. Okay. Really? I didn't expect you to give in so easily. Ugh! Your side is wet too! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hmm, can I ask you a weird question? Of course. Don't take it the wrong way, okay? No worries. Wouldn't you want to meet your mate? Well, I don't really have a choice anyway. I mean, if you could. Then no. She looks like a nice girl, but I wouldn't want to give her any false hopes. <sighs> You've met yours, haven't you? Yeah. And? He's a boron. Okay. Uh, that's it? You have nothing else to say? Well, let's just say we can spend hours talking about a complete boron who we'll never see again. Or we could choose to have a good time. Got it. Is there any way I can help? Nope, I'm almost done. Okay, but after that, for it to grow, won't we need to water them or anything? Not these ones. The soil looks sufficiently flow rich for their needs. After all, they were already thriving when we got here. Does that mean we'll have nothing left to do before we have some fat homemade fruits? You could always sing to them. It helps. For real? No scientific study has ever proven the contrary. So, maybe? Do you think they'll like some acrobats? It'll be your mission to find out. <laughs> <laughs> 